in Nottingham, Tebow. Will this 24-volt wheelchair motor-driven hunk of botic beef give us something to get our teeth into, or will the 2,000 RPM front spinning disc move into the next round? From Litchfield in Staffordshire, 8645T. Classic wedge-shaped beast of a machine. The front flipper is CO2, hydraulically powered and operates at a full pressure of 750 psi. The rear spike looks mean, but is it just for show? Roboteers, stand by. The T-Bone team, husband and wife Paul and Angela Gibbs, John Finley in there, and 8645T, John Lear at the controls, son John and nephew James. And the house robots this time, Sir Killalot with the crushing claws and the mighty lance. The first sight in Robot Wars 5 of Shunt with a huge pushing power. Three, two, one, activate. So T-Bone on the left-hand side. Look for the spinning disc at the front to carve into 8645T, so named because they say when you spin to that number, it spells the name Beast. Looking underneath T-Bone. T-Bone's disc has stopped spinning. That is a major worry for Paul Gibbs at the controls. He needs to rev up that weapon once again. It is not working. And therefore, T-Bone has been somewhat filleted. The Beast's flipper, almost like a pendulum motion with that rear spike or axe, but T-Bone has gone for the pit release button. There you can see it descending, so T-Bone, without the weaponry, thinks I'm going to have to push and shove the Beast into the pit here, otherwise I could go out. But the Beast has some push of its own. Can the T-Bone dig its hooves in here? Is the spinning disc working? They're very close to being pushed in, it would seem, by the Beast. Who has the more traction? Who has the bigger pushing power? The Beast 100 kilos, two kilos heavier than the T-Bone, and the clock is ticking down before we go to a judge's decision. It could be very, very close. They will mark on style control, damage, and aggression. It goes to the judges. Very close decision for our three robotic electronics boffins. On the left-hand side, Matt Irvin, Professor Noel Sharkin, Dr. Myra Wilson. This is what they're marking on. T-Bone away from the spike of the beast. Lost power from its own weapon. Could be decisive. The beast doing a lot of work, but then that was a good move by the T-Bone to release the pit. In came the beast, though, with a side slam. The weapon wasn't working fully, I don't think so. I can't guess this one, I really can't. The judges have made their decision. T-Bone, very fine robot, very well supported. But they lost the winner, 8645T! The Beast chewed up the T-Bone and spat him out. Next up, Steel Avenger and the Tartan Terror.